Hello, my beautiful humans. My name is Aricia and welcome back to my channel. I am slowly building out my apothecary and today we are going to go forage for some California sagebrush, which is an amazing all around pain manager. You can make it into salves, into teas, all sorts of wonderful uses. So if that's something you're interested in seeing, just stick around. It is such a beautiful spring day, almost feels like summer. It's about 20 degrees Celsius right now, but the sun is out and it is just a glorious day. I thought moving to California would mean I would get a lot more warmer weather, but it seems like it's just more temperate year round because my home back in Canada is having similar weather to what we're having in the Bay Area right now. So I've gathered up my sagebrush here. I tried to get a decent amount because I am gonna experiment quite a bit with some recipes with it. In the springtime, the sagebrush is very soft to the touch. And as the season goes on, the stem here, the sort of stick in the center, will get harder. It's also great to gather it in the spring before it gets flowers and blooms because it is the most potent, particularly if you're using it for medicinal reasons. The texture right now is very similar to like a dill, uh, except the color is much more of this green, gray, bluish color. But particularly you can identify this by its smell. The scent is very pleasant, very strong, uh, similar to like a Vicks Vapo rub. It's probably why it also gets its name sagebrush, although it is not related to any of your other sages, like a blue sage or a white sage. Sagebrush is known for its pain management qualities. There's a lot of other health benefits, but particularly in pain management, it is very, very useful. There's actually a decent amount of scientific studies on this. It has what are called monoterpenoids. So these are things like camphor, think like a Vicks Vapor Rub that has camphor oil in it. Eucalyptol, as you can tell from the name, comes from the same compound as is in eucalyptus. It has 15 of these different monoterpenoids, and that's what makes it a very effective pain manager. So I'm gonna turn this into a cell similar to a Tiger Balm, but it should actually be more effective than a Tiger Balm. My mom's actually been suffering with from some arthritis in her joints since starting to farm again for the springtime. So I think it would be a wonderful gift to bring her some of this salve when I go back to Canada to visit. Close your eyes Get some rest
So there we go. That is what the final salve looks like. It has a wonderful smell of that sagebrush that's infused into the oil, which is our active ingredient. These, I ended up with about two and a half of these small bottles. I used about a little under a quarter cup of beeswax to one cup of the oil. Now you can play around with that ratio based on the texture you wanna achieve. You can also add a little bit of coconut oil, like a tablespoon of that, that'll adjust the uh, texture as well. But I've just gotten a little bit on my nail there. It's easier if you have like a little wooden spoon or something to clip that. Um, and yeah, you can just put that on to wherever you're having some pain really great for menstrual cramps, for arthritis. Uh, the studies show it's actually good for moderate to severe pain. So it's quite a strong active ingredient or it should say combination of active ingredients, all those monoterpenoids that we talked about. I'll link the study below in case you're interested in learning more about the research on California sagebrush. I've also dehydrated quite a bit of it to do some more experimentation as well as use for teas. The teas are excellent for menstrual cramps. Um, the indigenous peoples considered this a woman's herb. Traditionally to use for pain management, instead of creating a salve like we did here, you would create a tincture in alcohol. So you would put some of that sagebrush in a jar, cover it with a high proof alcohol, something like a vodka, and leave it for four weeks in a dark place. And then after that, you can take a little cotton ball or, or, or sponge and apply a bit of that tincture, or they call it an alcoholic liniment, onto an area where you're having the most pain. The method I used for infusing the oil is called a quick method and it uses that double boiler method that you saw me do. Ideally, you would go through the slow method, which is similar to creating an alcoholic tincture, except you're going to do the slow oil infusion instead, but the process is the same. So you'll cut up your sagebrush, stick it in a jar, cover it with oil, and leave it in the dark place for four to six weeks or more. After that, the process is the same where you'll melt down your beeswax and combine it with your oil, your infused oil. 
And the reason we might want to do a slower infusion versus the hot infusion is anytime you're adding heat to something, you can be breaking down some of the active compounds, depending on how high the heat is and depending on what the compounds are. I have seen a lot of folks have success with this quick method for the salve, but if you want it to be the strongest potency, I would probably recommend doing the slow infusion method. But overall, a wonderful little salve. I think some of these will go as gifts to family and friends, and I'll keep one for myself for here at home when I'm having a little bit of a painful day. So that's all for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've learned something. And I'll see you next time for another video of me slowly building out my little home apothecary. Giving you a big hug wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much for watching.